just can't breathe. Bodies spread across the field. Mass casualties. Mass confusion. We're so hard. He's bleeding all over the place. For these combat medics in week five of training, it's their first battlefield simulation. They have to decide whose injuries are the most life-threatening, then treat their troops as fast as they can in a chaotic environment. The training is as, as real as we can make it with the time that we have. Instructor Michael Mazzoni knows firsthand how real things can get in combat. He was a medic in Iraq back in 2009. That's when an explosion hit his foot patrol just south of Baghdad. I could feel the shrapnel burning. It lodged in his abdomen, so he had to direct the troops he was there to treat to treat him. But when he heard another soldier was wounded... I could have cared less about how bad my injuries were. They were bad enough to keep him in the hospital. He woke up here Christmas morning. The guilt of not being in the field with his men was as excruciating as his wounds. Your soldiers are still downrange and they're not. So, and about a month after that, uh, I lost a new soldier. According to the Army, the survival rate of wounded warriors during World War II was under 70 percent. It went up to 76 and a half percent during Vietnam. Now, service members hurt in Iraq and Afghanistan have a survival rate of more than 90 percent. Hurry up, let's go! The training is constantly changing. For instance, Mazzoni says when the raid of Baghdad began in 2003, medics were focused on dealing with chemical and nuclear contamination. Now, TC3, or Tactical Combat Casualty Care, has taken over. Medics are trained to focus on traumatic injuries caused by IEDs, improvised explosive devices, or RPGs, rocket-propelled grenades. Sergeant William Martinez was hit by an RPG in Afghanistan. I get injured in my, in my right eye. Despite the shrapnel that pierced his skull, the gunner fired back, taking out several insurgents. Then he was shot in the leg. I saw the Taliban coming on the rooftops to my position. I thought at that moment that I was gone. <laughs> but something gave him hope. And I saw the medic. He was relaxed, calm. So he gave me that, that confidence. Then I was going to make it out of there alive. That 19-year-old medic patched up Martinez and he started fighting again. The Chilean native received the Bronze Star with Valor and got a Purple Heart and his U.S. citizenship on the same day. I'm an American citizen. <laughs> one who thanks a teenager for saving his life. Now Martinez looks forward to getting back to the front line. I just want to go back to Afghanistan. And Mazzoni can't wait to get back to treating troops. Well, you don't want to end your last appointment on your back. I'm Vanessa Welch reporting.